He's looking to answer a question that could affect millions of thirsty people around the globe. When it comes to drinking stout beer, which glass should you use? Well, one of the big problems with stout beers is they take ages to settle. So the perfect glass would really speed up the settling time and allow you to get your pint and to drink it much faster. This quest is inspired by the last case he solved, where he used math to figure out why some bubbles sink. Well, the thing I love about mathematics is it's a way of seeing things which you can't really see in other ways. Mathematics is a toolkit for revealing hidden simplicity. Normal beers, they have carbon dioxide in, which gives them quite big bubbles. Whereas stouts, because they have nitrogen in there, they have smaller bubbles. So the bubbles in stouts are much more susceptible to following currents in the beer. And in stout beers, the glasses are set up to cause a circulatory current. And so what you're seeing is the bubbles following those currents, which are rising in the middle and falling at the side as the famous sinking bubbles of stout beers. What I loved about this was there was a moment where in all the world, I was the only person who understood how bubbles in stout beers sank. And as a mathematician, that was a wonderful feeling. Before we had my research, people didn't understand where the sinking bubbles come from. So for a long time, people did think it was an illusion. That, you know, the bubbles are tiny, they're hard to see. And the people who observe this have often been drinking. Uh, but two physical chemists, uh, Andy Alexander in Edinburgh and Richard Zare in Stanford, managed to video these sinking bubbles while sober, thus proving that it was a real phenomena and not just optical illusion. And you can see the sinking bubbles just here and the settling is happening here. But I think that an even better glass for settling would be a cocktail glass like this one, where you've got sloping sides at an even greater angle than the ones here. Take a minute to let that sink in. It's an idea he stumbled upon almost by accident. When I came to a pub, I got some bit stout beer in a measuring cylinder, tilted it, and saw that bubble sank on one side, rose on the other which was impossible to explain with our current picture of why you see those sinking bubbles. So that got me thinking about the fluid dynamics, what exactly was happening to the bubbles inside that cylinder. And that gave me a new picture of how you get the sinking bubbles. <laughs>